This is a quick video of a camping stove that I made from a bean tin, virtually free to make. So, let me just show you this. It's basically a baked bean can with um, rolled up cardboard inside. This kind of corrugated cardboard. You can roll it up. Basically, carry on rolling until you've got your cardboard to about the same width as the as the can. Then you melt wax into the inside of the can and um, that's it basically. I've drilled holes in the side of mine and uh, you'll see why in the moment. I'll just light it. Oh, light is not doing very well. So you can build it just like that, you don't need the holes in the side, you could fill it halfway up with cardboard and wax, um, you know, to, well really just up near the top, you could take it all that far. Um, but I've drilled the holes so that you can actually stand another can on the top and it carries on burning without suffocating the flame. It's perfect for if you've... Um, got another spare tin of beans with you or you want to warm a little bit of water let me just pour a bit of water in here and you can hear that fizzling already just from when I rinsed it out this is cold water by the way straight out of the cold tap and there you are little billy can outside at the moment it's let's have a look point it at the floor 3.2 degrees C, which is 37.7 Fahrenheit. If I just point it into there very quickly, that's already at 61.3 and climbing rapidly. You can see that going up very quickly. And before you dye the thing out, I would recommend, I mean you'll probably add, if you're using one of these, you'll probably add it running for maybe 10 minutes warming something up, maybe a little less. But if I can just quickly remove that without burning myself, oh look at that. You see, if you don't drill the holes in the side, you can just like put a little mesh over the top, something like that, make a little stand for your pan to go on top of. And, uh, and use it without the holes. But what I like to do before the dye out is I get a tea light candle and just a moment. take the inside out of it, the wick out of it and then just drop it in the can. It does take a little bit of um, blowing out does the can but you blow it out basically like a candle. If it didn't have the holes drilled in the side, you could just put something over the top like the can and it would die out. But instead, it takes a big breath to blow this out, so... There we go, gone. Once that's cooled down, the wax has hardened again. You can just put a lid back on it, you know, the uh, pet food lids or the... whatever you want to call them. So, that's my free camping stove for anybody who's interested. Thank you.